page of the leaderboard, he will find the name Eric Compton as he sits at nine under. Randall, let's show you how he got here. Yeah, one of those seven without a victory chasing Tiger Woods at the beginning of the third round, making some noise there early from 53 feet out. Sometimes you think, well, oh, maybe this is my day. And at the 18th hole, Eric Compton, not that big a guy, hit one of the biggest drives of the day. Very difficult fairway to find. That's 312 yards off of the tee. Lefting 220 on his second shot, easily found the green. And it's a par five that had only been eagled once at that point during the golf tournament. And this is a 2001 Walker Cup player, former top-ranked junior in the nation, making some noise. And that got him within striking distance of Tiger Woods. A, a great story for Eric Compton, a story that you continue to hear a lot about. Uh, still looking for that first win, as you talked about. A two-time heart transplant survivor now playing on the PGA Tour. And it is a story that continues to be told because it's an inspiration. But maybe kind of hiding behind that incredible story is the fact that, oh, by the way, he can play some pretty good golf. Well, just to get on the PGA Tour, you have to be an incredibly gifted golfer with a lot of uh, persistence. Uh, it, he's proven that he is uh, incredibly gifted. But uh, just to keep coming back time after time after setback. So we always talk about 2008 and Tiger Woods' victory there on a broken leg as the most dramatic victory or sporting event or golf tournament that anybody had ever seen. Later on in 2008, uh, Eric Compton had a heart transplant surgery, wow. his second one. And five months later, he finished 60th at Disney.